All right, so today we're going to look at four emerald diamonds. We're going to compare them side by side, figure out which ones are the best. I have four A-set images as well on each diamond. And in the beginning, we're going to look in, at the A-set images. After that, we're going to look at the real diamonds. And then we're going to see how those images translate into real life. This is the first diamond. It's a 2.5. It's a D color, VVS1. And you can see there's a nice balance of reds, uh, a little bit of blues, and greens. Let's just go right over to the next diamond. It's uh, very different. You could see that there's a lot more blue. A lot of times blue could mean head and body shadow, uh, which would create the diamond to look dark in those areas. Uh, let's see if that happens in real life. I'm assuming it will, but we'll find out. Um, as we move on, the next diamond is actually almost the opposite. We don't have much blues, we have a bunch of greens. Um, greens won't really make the diamond have dark shadows coming out of it. Um, but on the other hand, there's going to be less light return coming from the diamond. So, you, you, you know, overall this diamond shouldn't, the, the, the one on the right, it shouldn't be that dark, but it shouldn't be the brightest diamond either. Um, and as we go over to the last diamond, I'm seeing a lot of red, um, a little bit of blues, and a little bit of greens. So, this diamond should have pretty strong light return. And the question is, are those reds going to make the diamond appear pretty dark in some, from some angles, or will it maintain its brightness? And here's all four images side by side. And by the way, if any diamonds end up being like real duds along the way, I'm just going to kind of take those out of the video. I'll explain that during the process, because uh, we kind of only want to focus on the diamonds, you know, worthy of um, taking a closer look at. All right. Okay, right now we're going to be comparing the first two diamonds. This is the 2.5 and the 2.8. And from this view, you could just see right here, uh, see those black bands? Those are actually the blue strips uh, in the A-set image. You're going to see this diamond, it kind of gets broken up. Um, so, you know, the second diamond right here, this is a diamond that from certain angles, it's going to look really dark. Um, you know, from certain angles, let me show you what I mean, it could look bright, but, you know, from the face-up view, just I'm getting a lot of darkness. Um, here, we're really not getting that as much. Now, let me just see. Yeah, actually, I remember asking the supplier if these bands were kind of thin, thick, or normal. He said they were kind of normal, but they look a little thick to me, if you know what I mean. Um, so, that diamond's probably going to be the first one we're going to put aside based off of what I'm seeing from this view and from the A-set image. Um, if I see in other lighting environments that it really stands out, I'll bring it back into the equation, but I just don't think it's what we're looking for, if you know what I mean. Alright, so I kept the first diamond, we're looking at the 2.5, and now we're looking at the 3 carat, uh, it's a VVS2. And you're going to see this diamond on the right now, it really doesn't get dark at all. Um, and that's because there was really not much blues in the A set, it was just mostly greens. Um, so the light's, you know, going pretty easily through the diamond. Now the problem is, although it's not dark, there's really not much light return. Um, all those reds and blues are gone, which is why, you know, even from like other angles, I really, you see how this diamond really lights up? I can't. It's not easy to have the same effect with the new diamond I just added in. Um, so it's not going to have the flash of light that we're looking for, which was kind of expected after looking at the A-set image as well. Um, so that might be the second diamond we're going to eliminate. And the reason I'm doing so, and like I mentioned, if it really looks nice in other lights, I'm going to include it back in the mix, but I just I can't see that happening. Um, and the reason I'm eliminating this one is because we already looked at two diamonds on both of them. We're probably better than this option as well. There's just too much green in it. So let me take that one out, and we'll be comparing two diamonds now. <coughs> Alright, so I threw another diamond into the mix. So on the left is the original 2.5 that we really like. And on the right is a 3 carat. It's the VS1. 
And this one, uh, the A set looked really nice. There's some good reds, a little bit more reds than greens. So it's going to look a little different from the diamond on the left. Um, but these two are more closer to the style we're probably looking for. Nice thin facets. Um, and I'm not getting much darkness out of either diamond so far. And I'm getting some brightness out of it too. That's the name of the game. Not much darkness, as much brightness as possible. It's almost impossible to get both at the same time just due to the nature of the cut. Being that all the you know, facets are parallel, um, light's going to hit it all from one angle. And it's either going to light up or not light up. Let me try to make these diamonds not light up just to show you what I mean. See how that band just got a little darker? It's not pitch black now, but let me see if I can do the same with this diamond. There we go. So, you know, these are probably the diamonds at their worst, um, just from the angle I just moved it at. But you could just see I just touched this and it lit up already. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're going to, some other lighting environments are going to be a little bit better to show the differences between these two diamonds and help us narrow down which one's the best. Alright, now we're looking at the diamonds under uh, spotlighting, and you're going to see once again, we're getting really nice flashes of light from both diamonds, as I move them from side to side. You know, I would say that the facets are a little bit more narrow in the 2.5 compared to the 3 carat, but it's personal preference and it's not to the extreme in either way. Now, just like with all lighting environments, there's probably going to be one specific angle where you're not going to get great reflection. And you can see, it just turned it off right there. How many people can use that? All right. <coughs> all right, now we're looking at both diamonds using the intense spotlighting. And once again, you're going to see that they pretty much hold their own. Um, It's a real intense light. Um, after this, I'm actually going to take the diamonds by the window, hold them in tweezers, and play with the light in many different ways so we could really get a good gist of what they're going to look like in the real world. Because this light's pretty intense, no matter what type of diamond you put under it. All right, now we're looking at both diamonds using natural daylight. And I'm just going to move them a little bit. You can see how they light up when they're in motion. And you can really see the difference in the size of the facets. This diamond right here has thicker facets. The one I'm shaking now has thinner facets. I'm just going to move them in all different ways and directions. All right. And here's another view of the diamonds. Uh, I have the natural daylight in the back, but I'm in the store and the, I'm not really facing it towards the daylight. Just move them around slow. And yeah, if it was up to me, it'd be between these two. What I'm going to do is send this video. Um, I still have a few more photos to take of the diamonds on someone's finger and whatnot. But I do want to get this over to you right now. And I'll be working on those and sending those over shortly. Thank you so much.